Well, tonight, Bay Area researchers have harnessed the power of technology and machine learning to ex learning le leading to extraordinary ends. Yeah, their work uncovered an innovative approach to treating devastating spinal cord injuries, and it's already helped one Bay Area dad get back on his feet. Ocean Beach, San Francisco, known for its cold water and raw power. Just the kind of place Chris Barr from the East Bay would love. On February 12, 2017. I checked the waves, kissed my wife goodbye, said I'm going surfing, I'll see you in, in a few hours. While surfing, Chris broke his neck. He was found by a friend floating in the water. Well, soon his wife Debbie got a call. Chris has had an accident. Um, and uh, he's at Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg General Hospital, San Francisco's only level one trauma center. He was so cold, stone cold, and he had sand all through his hair and his nose and his ears. And I knew immediately, oh, this is, this is way worse than a uh, broken bone. Chris had a devastating cervical spinal cord injury. Doctors said he'd most likely never regain any movement below his neck. Even if he did survive, he'd need a ventilator to breathe. The first thing he mouthed to me because he was on a ventilator was, pull the plug. Unknown to Chris and Debbie, UCSF doctors had already implemented a novel surgical protocol to be used in patients with new spinal cord injuries. The idea, to tightly monitor a patient's blood pressure and maintain it within the Goldilocks zone. Not too high, not too low. The just right zone for blood pressure. The blood pressure range is much more narrow than current guidelines. The data found higher blood pressure may in fact damage spinal tissue. A new study confirms the benefit. Within a very narrow range of blood pressure control, these patients had much better outcome. In fact, unexpectedly good outcome. The doctors did not discover this approach on their own. This is really a human-machine partnership. This is one of the um, great things about being here in the Bay Area. The scientists use machine learning and artificial intelligence. We work on extracting data from the patient records. They tracked 118 spinal cord patients at two Bay Area trauma centers, Zuckerberg and Santa Clara Valley Medical Center. They built an algorithm that scoured the data from each patient, looking at hundreds of thousands of data points. The machines uncovered the intriguing patterns. We were surprised, yes. The trauma teams then took these findings from the bench to the bedside to use in patients like Chris. As soon as they get their surgery, they go straight to the ICU, and then we make sure that they maintain their mean arterial pressure goal. After Chris underwent surgery. I had nothing, two weeks, nothing, three weeks still, no no feeling, no movement at all. So at that point, they kind of write you off. And then all of a sudden, stuff started happening. Chris began to feel sensation below his neck. Within months, he could move a toe, then a limb. He started feeding himself. I remember the first day that he ate a piece of chocolate, like he grabbed a piece of chocolate from this table and put it in his mouth, and we cheered. Chris then underwent experimental stem cell therapy at the Mayo Clinic and a spinal stimulation trial at UCLA. Today, he can walk on his own. What began at Zuckerberg paid off. He stood up from his wheelchair and walked a couple steps, and it, uh, I get emotional because it still gives me chills. Spinal cord injuries affect about 18,000 patients in the U.S. each year. The lifetime cost to the patient and the cost to society is huge. Chris believes funding and sharing big data might help accelerate treatment for others. Instead of having hundreds of samples, you have thousands of samples. There's no reason we can't have thousands of subjects. I mean, we're really just scratching the surface. It's truly astounding. And Dr. Fer Ferguson believes that this approach might be applied to other more common spinal issues, including spinal stenosis and low back pain, the most common cause of job-related disability.